Today is 4-7. It's December 28th of 2023. 12, 28, 40, 20, 23, 2, 2, 3, 0. That's 7. It's 4. I don't have two hands right now. It's 4 7 today. 4 7 is an important number. It is the wheel of four sevens. So, this is a sacred symbol, apparently from India. Apparently it pops up all over the place, like July 4th is Independence Day in the United States, which is 4-7. Apparently the divide between Palestine, Palestine and Israel was made in 1947. The 4-7 is the four elements and the seven chakras in your body, the seven energetic centers of being root sacral solar plexus heart throat pineal crown outside of your body and so the wheel of four sevens is like this sacred symbol from india apparently where the the cross that's like the four directions and then on top they put the sevens which yes it is essentially Hitler's swastika, but tsh, the Nazis turned it around and made it so that the sevens were the other way. So it doesn't, it's like a reflected seven in the swastika, and the original symbol was four sevens to express this, this synergy between the four elements and the seven energetic centers in the body or the seven states of being in this reality that everything is going through this four seven and so today's four seven if you're good at math and if you can see through all these things and through all of this what are we trying to say <sighs> some really deep level stuff yeah, I spent uh, a very long time walking barefoot on this trip. I spent from July 4th of 2020, which was a full moon eclipse. So that was the last night that I wore sandals. And then so July 5th, I started walking barefoot and I did not put on shoes until December 28th, which is today but 2021 so two years ago and so for a year and five months I never put on a shoe I never put my foot inside of a shoe I didn't want to even touch a shoe because I was so serious about walking barefoot like it was my religion and in the end through this whole barefoot experience I realized that it made me very strong. It made me able to accept that I'm walking on thorns and to have patience and walking on getting glass stuck in your foot in the street sometimes. It really doesn't happen that often. Like you'd be surprised. It happened to me f less than like once a month, less than I'm going to say even less than once every like three or four months. I actually got something stuck in my foot that I wasn't able to get out. That was actually really difficult. And, uh, even, I would even walk through broken glass and it wouldn't stick in my f in my feet it would have to be like super fresh broken glass and also like in my mind negative things and pff, then it would stick in <laughs> but if I just didn't give a fuck the glass didn't enter my foot and I would just like walk by walk through all this broken glass like nothing even happened like transcending everything and in the end on December 28th of 2021, I had a friend who had just found some Inca treasures in a, in a mountain in Abancay, and he wanted us to go to this mountain and to go look for these treasures. And so I put on shoes and he said, put on shoes so we can go further, so we can do more things. And in the end, I put on the shoes for the first time in one year and five months. And we went, actually we went to the snow that day. 
we just went to the snow we didn't go to the treasures and then if i recall correctly it was january 7th of 2022 that we went to go see the treasures so at first i put on the shoes to go up to the snow to make sure that i don't die walking through the snow barefoot and then we went and we saw these inca treasures in this point that no one had made it to which are like these stone circles and my friend found these other buried sculptures and so in the end it was like i had to put on the shoes to adventure to do more things in this life that not wearing shoes was a limitation it was making me slow but it was also making me strong and then putting on shoes was like having superpowers and so the whole barefoot experience is awesome it makes you stronger it makes you more conscious but then don't be scared to put shoes back on don't be scared to be a dual being to live in the light in the dark to live with shoes and without shoes and always accept yourself don't let anyone ever put you in a box and say this is the guy who walks without shoes and now he's wearing shoes why is he wearing shoes i thought I thought he didn't have shoes. I fucking told you I had shoes, bro. I told you I had shoes. I told you this was a conscious decision to not wear them. I told you this was like my fucking test for myself. <clears throat> and I kept not wearing shoes in the city after that for a long time. And recently, I just don't give a fuck anymore. I wear shoes in the city and people see me. And I thought they'd be upset, like saying like, oh, bro, like I thought you didn't have shoes. But now they're like actually happy they're like oh you're wearing shoes now it's good to see you with shoes it's good to see you taking care of yourself <laughs> and so it's just all oh, fucking the most hilarious shit ever and uh yeah just don't worry about what anyone thinks of you ever don't we are not material beings really we're constantly changing we're able to change ourselves we're able to say i once thought this and then that taught me to see this other thing and now I can see all of it and I've transcended it and so I wear shoes I don't wear shoes I'm good I'm bad I'm beautiful I'm ugly I give a fuck about myself I don't give a fuck about myself so I can give a fuck about myself more later and this is all just teaching me to love myself on a deeper level